Hello guys and welcome to another episode of R Factor 2 tutorials here on the Michihoya channel. Welcome today to talking about seating, seating position, mirror position, mirror adjustment within the R Factor 2 simulation. If you appreciate the tutorials and if you appreciate our content, please give the video a like and make sure you are subscribed to the channel, have rung the bell so you receive notifications for new videos and live streams coming out to you. If you got any questions, just as usual, put them down in the comments area below and we will pick up on them and get them fixed. But for now, let's start talking about R Factor 2 seating and your mirrors. First of all, before we start talking about the seating, make sure your field of view is set correct and you have your correct uh, degree of a field of view as per your personal setting. Remember, the field of view is dependent on your seating position in front of your screen and to your screen size. If you are unsure about how to get your correct field of view, in the top right corner you are finding my guide towards how to set up your field of view. But now, Let's head on into the R Factor 2 simulation to take care about your seating and your mirrors. First of all, what you want to do is to check out the settings, assign controls, and click on the camera and seating position. We are taking care about those six settings. So you adjust the seat four and back up and down as well as you increase the field of view or decrease the field of view and make sure you bear in mind that pressing the shift button will adjust the pitch accordingly. After then you jump into the car and you check out your seating position by moving it forwards, moving it backwards, moving it up, moving it, sorry, moving it up, moving it down. Those are obviously the key bindings for the seating position yourself. On the seating position, I think you just need to find your personal setting. For me, in this particular car, it's very much up to the front in order to be able to see on the left hand side. However, what you also can adjust in the car is the mirrors. As you've heard the voices of R Factor 2 saying seat, 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 seat. If you press the shift button and use the seat movers, you're gonna adjust the mirrors. As you can hear, R Factor 2 is adjusting the mirrors right now, but you don't see them being adjusted. That has a very specific reason that I'm coming to, uh, back on shortly. Because you also have a physical mirror. So what you want to do is you press shift and the alt key and then you can move the physical mirror around. You can move it left, you can move it right, you can get it out of its housing, you can put it wherever you need it, you can put it down on the dashboard if you want to have the center vitral mirror that is being physically built in into your car in the position that you like. Obviously, within a couple of boundaries. But now let's talk about why my virtual mirrors at the top, who are available on cockpit cam, on the cockpit cone cam, so on the bonnet, and on the nose cam, why they are set static. Now, if you move the seat, like this, you usually would also move the angle and the positioning of your virtual mirrors. In order to prevent that, you want to go into your R Factor 2 route, into to user data, into the player folder, and there you are looking for the player JSON. The player JSON is saving specific settings of your game and is able to um, be adjusted in order to fix some minor problems. In this case, you are looking for moving rear view. Then you're getting to the moving rear view settings. As you can see, I've set that to zero and the moving rear view is whether your mirrors respond to head movement in cockpit. None, position only, field of view only or both. 
per default, I think this setting is being set to three. So if you're changing your field of view and if you're changing your seat position, your virtual mirrors are moving and adjusted as well. However, depending on your personal seating position, because you want to see a lot in the car, in my case, we're going forwards, 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 as you also see the virtual, uh, the physical mirror just being still in its position when it comes to the deepness. I'm still forwards and about here. That is my usual seat position in this particular car so that I can see to the left and can see to the, to the right. I think since my field of view is wrong here on the office machine, it's a bit further back so that I see like a little part of the left hand side of the cockpit edge. However, in the meanwhile, I'm fixing uh, my mirror to go back into where it belongs to. There we go. Um, coming back on that, I have figured out it is a real issue to rearrange the virtual mirror for every car and every seating position that you have. So I just said, I just want to have it static and get me a certain rear view anyway. Um, the rear view as such is maybe not 100% accurate when it comes to the left and to the right side. You might not be 100% perfectly able to determine where the opponent car in your mirrors is positioned but overall this is much more um, consistent and much more reliable than refiddling with the seating position and the mirror position for every time you change in a car or come into a different track which might for whatever reason require a different setting and with that Guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this shorter version finally of uh, our Factor 2 tutorial. And um, yeah, if you got any questions whatsoever, let me know. Put them down in the comments area below. Other than that, if you have appreciated that video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and come back for more R Factor 2 tutorials and more streaming in the future. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.